Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a haul from Ebony Violet and this is my first haul. This is a new to me vendor. I've seen a lot of positive reviews about her on Instagram mostly and I think I saw a few things on Facebook as well. I actually saw somebody, um, actually a lot of people because somebody had asked a recommendation for new vendor and a lot of people said Ebony Violet. So that's really what made me order in the first place. And she, I ordered twice, so this is um, a haul of both. And she was doing a sale the first time around. Or was it the first time or the second time? I can't remember. One of them, I don't know, but one of them, um, she was doing a sale for the loaves. I think it was for the loaves, yeah. Oh no, the first one I got 10% off because I was a new customer. The second one, she was doing a sale for the loaves. I think it was buy one, get one half off. So I did that, I got some scoopables, I got some scent shots, and then the rest are extras that she sent me. So let me just, uh, first impressions. So I placed my first order on February 11th, and the tad at that time was 14 business days. It said 14 days on the website, but I just assumed that it was business days, which was fine. And then I placed my second order, I believe, on February 24th for the loaves. Yeah, for the loaves. Um, she messaged me at some point in March because my first one had not shipped yet. So she had emailed me and she said something along the lines of, you know, I'm very sorry, I'm running a little bit behind. Um, I'm gonna refund your shipping for the first order, which was great. And I was like, yeah, thank you so much. So she sent me back $11. And then for my second one, I had asked her, you know, when about the time, do you think the second one will go out? And at that point, she said the latest that those will go out was March 13th. So I said, okay, cool. She asked me if I wanted to just ship them together. And I was like, you know what, she's a new vendor. She got a lot of orders within a very short period of time. They're custom loaves. Uh, the sam the scoopables, I think, were also custom as well. You couldn't customize them, but you can get whatever scent you want, and then she had to pour them is really what I'm saying. Uh, so I gave her a break, and I was like, yeah, just combine them. So she was shaving saving on shipping anyway by putting them in one box. Uh, so I did get refunded for the first one. So I was like, you know what, just, just let her. So I put them together. So March 13th came and went and I never got a notification for either one of them. So I think on the 22nd, I messaged her um, and I'd asked her, you know, I know you said March 13th was the cutoff date that you're going to ship them out. So I just wanted to ask ahead of time, you know, if maybe I missed a shipping notice or something. And she said, no, you didn't miss it. I am behind. Uh, next time that I do these loaves, I will definitely come up with a better system. Okay, fine. Still pretty late. But I was just like, okay, you know, that's cool, whatever. Um, and then I think one or two days later, I messaged her again. Or maybe the 22nd was my last message. I can't really remember the details on that. But I did message her again, and she did not respond to me. But she did send my stuff out within the next day. But I don't think it updated in the system for another day or so. So really within like three days, I would say, she sent them out. Uh, so they were pretty late. I got them, I think, on the 25th. I think it was, because I know it was stuck in transit at one point, which obviously isn't her fault. But I want to say on the 25th I got it, which was pretty late. So, first impressions on, you know, shipping really wasn't the greatest. I got my invoice here, and when I opened the box, it said on there, Hi Tara, I truly apologize for the delay in your order. Please use code blank um, for $15 off your next order. So, she did give me a whole $15 to spend on my next order as her apologies, which was amazing. Thank you so much if you're watching. And then she also sent me a handful of samples, some candy, and a whole nother loaf. So I can't complain here. <laughs> so thank you so much for all of the extras. I truly appreciate them. And I do understand that people get behind, especially when you're a new vendor and everybody recommends you and, you know, you get a bunch of orders at once. Totally, you know, I get that. I don't have a business card. I did not receive one. I don't know if she has one made up or not, but I got some candy here. And then we can go through these samples. So the first one here is Don't Say No, which is cashmere, cedar, Asian sandalwood, and vanilla lace. I should also point out that she is more known for like fresh, sexy, masculine, feminine blends. She does do bakery blends as well, coffee, fruity, but I mostly see her known for these types of scents. I actually don't mind this one. I probably won't melt it, but I like the way that it smells on its own. It reminds me so much of Teas from Victoria's Secret, which is like my favorite perfume. I know, I'm a body spray person. I like my bakery body sprays, but I do wear perfume every now and then, and that's what that one smells like. 
Then I got one in Bathos, Bathos type, which is violet, cedarwood, and lemon. Yes, I know my nails look like a five-year-old's craft project, but I'm in quarantine here, so, you know, I can't go get my nails done. <laughs> so this one smells like actual lollipops to me, and I think it's the violet. I think I finally figured out that violet smells like lollipops instead of a flower. <laughs> All right, then I got one in coconut butter, which is buttery caramel, toasted coconut, sugar crystals, and creamy vanilla. I actually really like this one. It's not as bakery as I would like it to be. It still kind of smells, well, maybe just because it's been sitting next to these guys, which are very, very fresh scents. But I do like the coconut that's in there, I will say. Then I got one in sun and sand type, orange flower, lemony citrus, fresh lavender, and musk. I don't think it smells like any of that. If you guys know the sun and sand candle from Bath and Body Works, it smells exactly like that, which to me smells like suntan lotion. Yeah, it definitely smells a lot like suntan lotion to me, which I actually do like those scents for the summer. And then the last one that she sent me is freshman on senior haul, tight jeans, check, pearberry body spray, check, ready to take on the world. I thought that was really cute. I guess it's supposed to smell like that Pearberry from Bath and Body Works. I don't know. I don't really, I, it definitely smells like perfume though. Okay, so I'll go ahead and show you my scoopables that I picked out first. So this is what they look like. I want to say, I think on the bottom here it says it. Five point something, 5.5 ounces. So this one's in Cafe Cubano. Uh, Cubano Espresso Sweetened with Brown Sugar. It smells so good, but now here's the issue that I had. If you can see in there, it looks all messed up and a little bit dirty. So these um, caps came off in transit, and she uses that like uh, that cardboard, like wormy stuff. I don't know how you explain it, like that shredded paper. And when the tops came off, and since these are super soft, I noticed that the that. I don't know, that cardboard stuff got stuck in the wax, so I had to pull all of that out. It's on this one and a few other ones, uh, so that wasn't very nice, but, I mean, it still melts, so it is what it is. The next one that I got is strawberry jam, homemade sweet strawberry jam. I have to try everybody's strawberry jam scent. I think we all know this by now. This smells really good. I wish it was a little bit stronger, but I haven't melted it yet, so I'm really not sure. You can also see the mica glitter on the bottom here so you can see that all throughout here and then also when you take the lid off you can see it up here too so it's going to be really pretty when it's melting so these okay these do have pour dates but it just says february 2020 so i'm not exactly sure obviously which day in february um, i'm also not sure on how long to cure these for i didn't see that on the website but i will try to get that information the next one that I got is Sweet Bakery Dough. Sweet Warm Bakery Dough with notes of buttery cream, milky caramelized sugar and powdery, sweet con confectioner sugar. I really like the color of this one. It's really pretty. This one smells really good. When I first got it, it actually wasn't very strong at all. But now it smells amazing. It kind of smells like zucchini bread, to be honest with you. kind of smells like zucchini bread and sugar cookies. I like that one a lot. All right, then I picked out... Hansel and Gretel's house, sweet grams, cake, sugars, and sweet cream all whipped together with a sweet vanilla frosting. This one is kind of spicy, to be honest. It's definitely not as sweet as I wanted it to be. It's not super overpower, overpoweringly cinnamony, <laughs> um, but we'll have to see about that one. I'm not sure yet. All right, then I got brown sugar pound cake, um, caramelized pecan at brown sugar, and a hint of toasted almonds. This one's pretty good. <clears throat> wow, voice, Jesus. This one's pretty good. It doesn't really smell a whole lot like brown sugar, though. I don't know. It's just not very strong, so I don't exactly know what I'm getting from it. I mean, it smells like pound cake, and it smells like a bakery scent. It's just not very strong. So hopefully that comes out a little bit more when I'm melting it. All right, then the last scoopable that I got was cotton candy frosting, strawberry, raspberry, plum, sugar, sugary crystals, and sweet vanilla. Now we all know what cotton candy frosting scent description is. <laughs> this is amazing. I really like her cotton candy scent. It's like straight to the point, cotton candy, very sweet, very strong. So I like that one a lot. 
Okay, so moving on to the lows that I got. So these were all custom made by me. Um, I obviously picked out the scents. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So like I said, she sent me a whole extra one. And I really like the scent that she chose. So we'll just start with that one. Okay, so the one that I blended was Fire Ants. Well, she called it Fire Ants, which I thought was a really cute name. She actually named all of these. And uh, Daughter of Fire and Apple Fritter. I honestly can't remember the scent description for Daughter of Fire. I'm sure I have it somewhere. It smells so good. Let me grab that scent description for you. Oh my goodness, I can't find it. Um, I love the apple fritter that's in here. And it smells masculine. I think it's like a masculine cologne scent that I chose. I will have to find that scent description because this smells so good. So it obviously smells like apple fritter and some type of masculine scent that I can't remember the name of. So this one's plain. Uh, there's no embeds or anything on this one. I do like the backs though. The backs are cute. I would say that these loaves are around five ounces. I don't think it says on here. Yeah, and I didn't get the invoice for that order. I just got the invoice for my first one, which was for the um, scoopables and the scent shots. So, I mean, it doesn't have the prices on the invoice anyways, but I guess it's not that big of a deal. Okay, so the one that she sent me for free was just plain apple fritter. Tart sweet baking apples with hints of butter and cinnamon and dough. I love the color of this. I'm so glad that she decided to go with the apple fritter to send me one as like a freebie because I love it. It is so pretty. It's definitely going to stay in my warmers though. I can tell by the pink color. <laughs> a lot of vendors have that. This is amazing. It is so strong and so like cinnamony but sweet and it smells like real apples and real dough. I'm kind of mind blown on this one. It is fantastic so thank you so much for sending me that it is greatly appreciated all right the next one that i did she named it cafe nervosa pumpkin pecan waffles coffee bean and zucchini bread and then the front has freaking gummy bears on them and they're wearing bow ties and glasses how cute is that oh my god that is adorable this smells amazing. I will say she knows how to blend. I love the coffee bean and the zucchini breads together and then you get that kick of the pumpkin pecan waffles. You can smell them all evenly. It is so good. I am so stoked for that one. Okay, I'm gonna put this down like this. Okay. The next one is Coffee With Him, which is coffee bean, mahogany, coconut, and brown sugar. So I got this one with Ryan in mind, which it makes me really happy that she named it Coffee With Him um, because I love her, well, I love mahogany coconut, and I really wanted to see if you're going to be able to smell the coconut in there. So I was like, what can I blend with this? And he loves coffee with it, so do I. And then brown sugar was just for me because I love brown sugar. She put little butterflies on it. It is so, so good. It is amazing. So you definitely get the mahogany and the coconut, which makes me very happy. Um, and then the coffee bean is super strong. She has a very strong coffee scent. I wouldn't say you get a lot of the brown sugar, maybe like a kick of it, but it's not very strong. But like I said, we still have to see how these go when they're melting. And these were all poured. It just says March 2020. So um, I don't know if that was the beginning of March or the middle of March. So I'm going to probably give it a next few weeks to see and, you know, to let them cure. All right, the last one that I got, she called Give Me All the Sugar, which is strawberry jam, sugar cookies, and zucchini bread. It looks like this one's just plain. This is amazing. I love her zucchini bread. It's like that sweet and salty zucchini bread that I love. I wish the strawberry jam was heavier, though. Because you can't smell it that much, but you definitely get the um, the sugar cookie. So it smells a lot like a fake and bake. Really, really awesome scent. I just really hope the strawberry comes out a little bit more because I can't really smell it at all right now. Okay. So the next few things that I got are all scent shots. So the first one I have here is coconut milk sorbet. Fresh coconut blended into a creamy sorbet. I like this one. It's definitely not a, I wouldn't say it's a beachy coconut or a bakery coconut. It's more of a, well, yeah, beachy. 
it's more beachy than anything else. Kind of, I kind of wanted to say perfumey, but I feel like that's a little bit of an outreach. It's not perfumey. All right, next one is Macintosh Apple. Got to try everybody's. So these are all pretty much single oil scents. Oh, this is so good. Love her Mac Apple. Very, very, very realistic, which is I really like about her stuff so far is that a lot of her stuff is very realistic. All right, then I got Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. This one is so good, too. This one actually might be better than the candle. It just smells more buttery, more maple-y, if that makes sense. <clears throat> if you guys have had her Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, let me know how it performs, because I feel like it's better than the candle on cold so far. All right, then I got one in just the mahogany coconut. Uh, mahogany woods harmonize effortlessly with its intensing tonalities of smooth, creamy coconut. I'm sure I butchered that, but... <laughs> Now, see, I feel like you get the coconut more in the loaf than I do in the scent shot. It's still really good, and you get a little bit of it, but it's definitely not as strong as it was in the loaf, so that's kind of weird. All right, then I got strawberry buttercream, luscious buttercream with frosting with plum and juicy strawberries. It's still kind of light. It's the same thing with the strawberry jam, like, scoopable. Her strawberry scents are just very light, so... Uh. I don't know. I don't really have high hopes for my loaf anymore. Uh, but look at the bottom of this one. It's like oily. And you can see all that glitter stuff at the bottom. Oh, that's going to stain. <laughs> all right. Then I got pink frosted cake. Yummy yellow cake layered with sweet strawberry frosting. Now here's the kicker for this one. I smell way more strawberry in this than I do in any one of those single strawberry oil ones. That I don't understand. But this smells really good. It's not pink sugar or anything, which is what I thought it was when I first got it. So when I smelt it, I'm like, why does this smell like strawberry? Um, which I'm not complaining about because I think I would like this more than like a pink cake. Uh, but just letting you guys know, it is not pink sugar. It is strawberry. And it smells delicious. All right, then I got Santa's Ginger Cafe. Fresh baked gingerbread, vanilla, mocha coffee, and sweet cream. So I almost got this one in a scoopable because it sounded so good. But it is not. It is way too spicy. And I don't smell anything else. I just smell like a really red hot cinnamon. And I am not feeling that one. Okay. Next one is a vanilla pound cake. I'm not reading such descriptions because you guys know what this stuff smells like already. I don't think I need to read them. This one is also very light. I don't really get much of anything. It's kind of just like a really plain Jane watered down vanilla pound cake. I know that sounds kind of bad, but um, that's really what I smell. Now this one looks two-tone, but it's actually that glitter on the bottom. So that'll look really pretty when it's melting. There's like a little glitter stuck to the outside of the cup. Um, but we'll see when it's melting. I don't know yet. Close. There we go. All right. The last one that I got is cinnamon caramel swirl type, which is from Bath and Body Works. This smells really good. I don't think it smells like the candle, to be totally honest. It's definitely similar, but this one I feel is like a little bit more cinnamony, but in a good way, not in a bad way. The other one I feel like is a little bit more sweeter and a little bit stronger than this one, but um, this was poured in February 2020, so like I said, I will be giving this up, um, you know, <clears throat> letting this stuff sit for the next few weeks and seeing how it is. So overall, first impressions are pretty good. Um, I do like the scents that she has. I think she blends them really, really well. I think a lot of them are very realistic, but then some of them are just very light or I feel don't really match the scent description very well, um, which I know really isn't her fault. I know she's just going off of the oil. So, you know, you know the oil maker scent description. So I know that's not on her or anything, uh, but it's kind of like a 50-50 right now. I love what I love and I hate what I don't. So, you know, it's very cut and dry. This one for me is very black and white. There's not really a gray area. Um, but overall experience, I'm pretty happy with everything. I love the extras that she sent because of the makeup or because of the long time wait um, that she gave me $15 off, which was amazing. Uh, so customer service, I will say, is 10 out of 10. Uh, so she definitely communicates. She let me know or she let me know if I could speak today. Um, and then all the extras definitely made up for it. So 
uh, overall pretty good. So I will continue to try this vendor out, give her a few weeks and then melt some stuff and I'll come back to you. So if you guys have tried this vendor before, let me know what warmer you like. Um, if you like or dislike this company, if you love what you love and hate what you hate, just like me. Um, <laughs> I guess that's going to be it. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye.